How's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way how to create an isometric camera in Blender. For example, I had downloaded this free isometric diorama by this dude. You can follow the link in the description. Ok, let's go to Blender. First of all, we have to create a cube object. Shift A, Mesh, Cube. Oh, we don't see anything before it. Ok, let's click at the Object tab. Scroll to viewport display, display as, and change from texture to wire. And now our cube is transparent. In the next step, we have to determine from which point the camera will look at our scene. How's it working? We place camera on this point, and it should look at the point on the opposite side, and we will get an isometric effect. Go to the edit mode and select this vertex or any vertex which one you want. Hold Shift plus S and cursor to select it. Escape from the edit mode, press Shift A and go to the camera. So the camera is placed in here. We need the direction of view of the camera to align to this point. Select our cube and go to the edit mode. Select this vertex. Press Shift and S and choose cursor to select. Now escape from the edit mode, press Shift and A and create empty plane axis. Next we should apply constraint on the camera. Select the camera, follow to the constraint tab, apply track to constraint and select this plane axis as a target. Check this out. Press zero numpad and now we may change camera type from perspective to autographic. And as we can see, we get an isometric camera. However, we should go to the constraint tab and click apply for this constraint. Next, we may delete the empty plane and set parenting. Select camera, cube, press Ctrl and P. Set parent to object. And now we can change the view of the camera. Relative to the Z axis, for example. Also, we can move our camera on Z, X, and Y. Let's move up a little bit. Finally, it's done. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know the easiest way to create an isometric camera in Blender. See ya!